Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, we are going to be doing a flip through and a little bit of chatting about Ruby's Sweet Dream by Inko Koto Ryama. I say it wrong every time, I think. Um, this book is stunningly adorable. Is that right? Is that a, is that a phrase? That's a phrase now. I'm going to say things are stunningly adorable. Um, yeah, so it's a smaller book. So, for example, if I were to get my romantic country book, you can kind of see the difference there in the size. Um, so it's a smaller format, which is nice because there are some pretty intricate things in here to color and um, less less area to fill, <laughs> I guess, for the smaller size. So I have, um, there's a nice book jacket on here and then a craft color cover and back. And I would assume that you can color that in. It's, it feels just like, like the, um, the airy covers. It does have a little bit of a slicker surface to it, but I think you could still color on it. No problem. And it's a cute illustration. Um, the only thing that I, noticed was when I was flipping through the first time is my um it's like glued together here and it came apart and I don't know if that's intentional or not but um it's only a little frustrating when you're flipping through like it doesn't bother me like coloring it's not going to be an issue but um but yeah so I don't if if you get a book like that and it happens just so you know just so you're not like, why is my book broken? That happened to me. Okay, so there was the title page, the welcome page, I believe. Lots of cute little um, images to color on that. Great place to test out some of your colors if you wanted to. I love that there are um, examples of how the artist envisioned her artwork. And the fact that this frog has pink, blue, purple, green, gray. I mean, there's like several colors in each of the, in this out. Oh, I love, I love the way that these are colored. I think they're gorgeous. So yeah, so let's get started. So that, oh, and this is all of the characters. So you've got Ruby, Knight, and then all of her family and stuff here. Um, there are different chapters in the book so it does explain it all in Japanese <laughs> so if you have Google Translate that might help some um, but again beautiful artwork around the edges to color just gorgeous Make sure you guys are in frame there okay and so this is the first one this is episode one and um, you've got a couple of the little froggies here and the little frog village I'm guessing so cute there's a little frog here 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 I love it and then there's Ruby, and she's sleeping, and then she meets Knight, I'm guessing. And then he takes her off, and he's going to take her on an adventure. I'm seeing all the rooftops of her home as she's going. And then sometimes you have to really look to find Ruby. She, I don't think she's in every picture. She's in almost every picture. But in this one, she's right here, but then you've got all of these other animals and plants and flowers everywhere, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I love this book. Here's another one. See, she's sitting up here on this tree branch and looking down at everything, having some tea with the squirrels or the chipmunks. So cute. This one, I think, is just a pretty floral thing. I don't think she's, she's not in that one, but she's over here in this side. So cute. Gosh, I love this book. Um, this one, yeah, she's not in this one. This is flowers and some insects, which I really like. Uh, this is the image from the back cover. And then she, here she is asleep in a flower. So cute. I love this page. I think it's so cool. I don't know why. Like, I don't always love it, but a lot of the times, like, in, um, in this, this artist and, um, 
Oh, I'm going to have to put the name of the artist on screen. But in this artist, the other artist that's on screen now, um, I like when they have animals that have like human characteristics, I guess, or dress as humans. I just think it's cute. I love all of these these guys. And it's like this, she's like in this big market. So there's all different shops and things. Yeah, this is, it's so neat. Oh, and she's down here kind of peeking at everybody. Um, and then here she is sitting in a basket full of sweets and goodies with other little animals. I love this little giraffe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then you've got different animals with different objects. So there's a vase and a teapot and a flower and a ring and all kinds of cute stuff. And there's some animals in here that I don't know what they are. Like, I don't know what this little guy is. I want to say it's a, uh, Cora. Is that a, is that, no, oh, what is it called? It's those really cute little, ah, oh, shoot. I'm going to have to, dang it, I'm going to be, you're going to be seeing words pop up all over the screen on this flip through. So I will put that one on screen. I know it starts with a Q for sure. Um, and then this one looks like a little capybara. Um, yeah, I just think it's so cute. I love it. I love it. This one is a little more um, intricate, but it's it's actually like a little maze where you have to go through and go upstairs and on paths and downstairs and down ladders and to find from the start to the finish. So that was really cute, but that would be a fun one to color. At least it's an interesting thing. You know, it's not just, I don't know. I just love it. And like in the little windows, you've got pictures of things and in the shops. So I really like it. Um, in this next one, you've got, um, Ruby has gone to a masquerade party. So here's Ruby and Knight down here dancing, and then all the animals in different masks and stuff. Really, really cute. And then here's all their masks, which those and then those are just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and then this interesting illustration, which I really like. I'm not sure what the words say on it, but I just, I think that's neat. It's so cool. Around the world. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. That would make sense. Because there's all different kinds of places around the world. Yeah. Um, and then here's a lovely little um, water scene with like fireworks and stuff in the sky. And here's Ruby here. Um... I don't think she's in these pictures. She is not. Those are both really beautiful pictures. And then here's a couple of mandalas. She's also not in these pictures. And then Santa. I'm gonna say that that's her right there. But each of the dolls is I guess it leaves a couple blank maybe for you to draw on your own. That's cute. Um, and then I, this, this page, for some reason, just the way that the frog is looking up, and I, I don't know what it is, but I love it. I love it so much. I think it's so beautiful. This one's really cool. It's like a hidden cave of wonders or something. This one I think would be really neat, um, like a super vibrant backdrop and then just fun colors everywhere. Um, and then here's like a musical instrument section. There's Ruby. There's Ruby again. And then this one I don't like as much. <laughs> this one is like, it's like in the same setting, the same setting for all of the stuff, except this is all beautiful instruments and this is all like scary things like scary fish and bats and mice and I don't know Venus fly traps and other plants that eat animals and 
yeah, this one's not like spiky. <laughs> I wish I knew what that, I'll, I'm going to have to see if I can find out what that translates to. And uh, I'll put that on screen as well. And there's like a giant, there's like a snake here. And I don't know. It's very, it's very interesting for sure. For sure. Um, I wonder if at that point, maybe it's turning into a nightmare. So she's in a dream and then it's turning into a nightmare because then this cat starts to catch her. And that's pretty scary. And then she's in bubbles. So, you know, yeah, just like your normal dreams. You're having a wonderful dream and it turns into a crazy nightmare and then you're floating in a bubble. Yeah, with the sloth and a ram and a bear. Mm -hmm. Yep, that makes sense. I love this page too. And these ones. <laughs> So cute. I mean, I don't even know what that is, but I think it's the cutest little octopus thing, squid. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. So cute. And then these, both of these are really beautiful pages as well. And then she's back home. Oh, the baby frog is a tadpole. <laughs> I didn't notice that the last time. That's cute. Yeah. And then I think she writes down her dream with maybe his feather or he leaves her feather. I don't know. Yeah, it's fun to make up your own your own stuff. Oh, here's some ideas for the how to fill in those faces. And then the maze puzzle and all that stuff. Yep, and then some more artwork on the back here to color. So yeah, I'm, and I'm really interested to see what these two books are like. I think I'm probably going to have to get them. Um, I've had this one in my to buy uh, list for a long, long time. So this happy birthday and this this romantic journey are both, because I and I love cows. So that's probably going to be, those, those will probably be my next purchases. But that was Ruby's Sweet Dream by Inko Kodoriyama. Yep. And I love it. I love it so much. So, um, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the flip and the chat and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.